And the most valuable offering that anybody ever gives, the most valuable offering is the one that is given in brokenness. The most valuable vessel in the hand of God will always be the broken vessel. Often we, we hurt over things. We, we're broken over things, and we think we're never going to be healed. We're never going to recover. We're never going to be what we once were because something in life has broken us. Something has hurt us deeply. Our heart has been broken. When you're young, as I have once was, I didn't understand the value of that. When I would go through a disappointment or a hurt, I resented it. I was angry at it. I was angry because I went through it. I thought, this isn't right. I've done my best. Why? Why am I being put through this kind of pain? And it, it took a long time. Let me share something with you that took me many years to learn that perhaps you can learn now, at least to some degree. And it's very simple. Whatever God has allowed into my life has been allowed because it makes me closer to Him. It has drawn me closer to Him. I've discovered that Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. I've also discovered that those who have been broken have a deeper heart, very often a more compassionate spirit to those who also are broken. And you can bring a word of encouragement and hope to somebody who's been broken because you can say, I've been there done that and this is what God has shown me it's it's not something you can learn in a textbook it's not something that you learn just by listening to a message it's something that you actually go through and then you discover God's goodness because no matter how deeply you go down he is deeper still you never go further than he can reach down and lift you back up you never go that far god is always there to lift you back up you just don't know it when you're going through it you think your whole world is shattered your whole life is done what's the reason for living there's too much pain and god says i'm here in every dark moment of your life you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death but you will fear no evil i am with you my rod my staff they will comfort you you will be brought to that that stream of water you'll be there Hold fast and don't let go. Hold fast and don't let go. So many people, they get to this point where they say, I can't go any further, but that's where God's love and power, that's where it shows up in my weakness. Then I am made strong, Paul said, and that's the truth. That's what happens. So this vessel, you got saved. You say, oh God, you're wonderful. Thank you for the work you've done in me. Thank you for the salvation I've received in you. Thank you for the joy that surprises me. I was in such darkness and pain. I didn't understand what love is. I didn't know what joy was. Oh God, thank you. And then what happens? It happens to every believer. As you go through something, maybe it'll happen several times in your life. I've had this same kind of pain in many ways over the years. Betrayals, hurts, rejections disappointments and you're never alone you're never abandoned you're never by yourself you're all there's always somebody with you and his arm is there around you though you may not sense it at that moment you see as long as that ointment was in that bottle it had no value other than people saying well that's a very valuable ointment but it had no real value because it doesn't matter. The value of it is simply what man is willing to say it's worth. That's where the value comes from. It, it, it has a different kind of value when it's something that is yours. And it's, it's yours. And it doesn't even have to be very costly. It can be whatever it is. It doesn't have to be much, but it's valuable to you. Well, this was costly. This was very valuable. But it was not as valuable as Jesus. And that's why she was able to pour it out completely. But beyond that, the, the vessel that was holding it had to be broken in order for it to be used properly. And that's what God does with you. You have something within you that is very valuable. The power of the Holy Spirit and the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's in you. But in order for it to be released, you're going to be broken. You're going to be broken. You're going to be broken. Who likes it? 
I never have liked it, but the fruit of it has always been good. In 2 Corinthians 4 verse 7, we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. So we say, God, may I be out of the way so that you may be seen. The heart of real ministry is that the person who's doing the ministry becomes invisible so that the invisible God may be seen. What you have inside of you has to come out of you. And the way it comes out is not the way that you necessarily might want it to. I don't like it when the Lord has broken me. And God, I've been a Christian almost 52 years. I have been, it's not about me, but it's true. I've been broken in ways I never thought. Betrayed by people I love with all of my heart. Pain. Where I put my head on my pillow and I've wept for days over the hurt, over the disappointment, over the accusations, over the lies, all the disappointments. I've wept for days. And then I finally say, where's my help going to come from? And then I read my word. The word says, my help comes from the Lord who makes heaven and earth. And so you find your comfort in Him. You find your comfort in Him. Father, you say, I want to learn to love. And then your heart is broken over and over and over again. But then you learn what love really is. You love them even if they don't love you. Oh, so that's what it means that you so love the world even though the world would reject you. You still loved. I get it. I get it. It's not whether they love me. It's whether I love them. 